What is up, everybody? It's Easy Easy Street Gaming. It's early in the morning, so we got to talk kind of soft. We got a new feature. It's called the Ancient Treasures. This is going to be a really big feature in the game. Basically, what it does is it upgrades or buffs all of your troops uh, singly: the warriors, the the beast masters, and the shaman. And then it also does a troop buff as well. So there's four different slots. There's a there's a lot to this. There's been a lot of people talking about this new feature already because it was kind of difficult to get some of the stuff done But I'll, I'll stay to the end of the video at the end of the video I explain a little bit more about what's going on and give you a little different perspective on on the big picture So you get into the the ancient treasures You're going to have to collect the from the bandits the bandits are going to be on the map from the bandits You'll take coins from the coins. You will buy alchemy uh, alchemy dust and etc. We're just, we're just gonna stick with the alchemy dust in this video There's more than that, but we're just gonna stick with the first part which is the alchemy dust and With the dust you'll buy uh, manuals There will be four manuals you have to you have to get each manual controls Either the warrior the shaman the beast master or the troops Now if you're looking for the bandits it, As you can fly by the map We always go to the outside of the map. It seems like the outside of the map has a lot you have a lot more luck you can they're all over the map don't get me wrong they're all over the map but when you go to the outside of the map around the edges that's it seems like all of the all of the um, events you'll, you'll find all the stuff around the outside of the map a little easier so on the hunt now here's one of the, the concerns that people have it's the stamina it costs 30 stamina to go hunt one of these guys down so that's a pretty pretty expensive uh, hunting trip so what, what my suggestion is you, you pace yourself there's no need to go out and try to try to get 500 of them in one day because this is designed to take a little while Look for the little smiley on on the map. That's a picture of it. How to blow those up by the way And all your all your hunt time or your, your travel time there will be under five minutes But I've got to check. I, I, I wonder if the way back will be like 45 minutes. I don't know So a little tip do you bubble for barbarian or server war because you should well you can hunt the bandit and the corrupted temples for safe gains during wartime because I know you get bored and you got to do something every single day So this is what the reports look like when you go after the bandits. There's three different colors. There's red, there's blue, and there's yellow I think I've I sent 40,000 T1s and I think I still got it. I'll have to check on exactly the numbers It goes into our we have a new interface here now what you want to do is you want to click on the event first so as soon as you go and get some of the bandits you click on the event I don't know how often they're gonna have the event but it's gonna be pretty often at first at least now there's a, there's a little bit of cost involved with getting everything you need first of all you have to get a manual you're gonna to have to have four of them so for a manual fragment it costs 50 yellow coins and so it's 500 yellow coins for one complete manual that's pretty hefty. That means for five manu manuals, you need 2,500 yellow coins. You get one or two every single time you hunt one of the bandits. Now, for the alchemy dust, one red bandit equals one or two red coins. That's what you usually get. Two red coins equals 16 alchemy dust. 125 alchemy dust for the treasure. 325 dust for the first upgrade on it. That means it's 16 red coins for the treasure. 40 red coins for the first upgrade on it. The treasure is the actual pendant or the actual I'll show you in a second here so another pretty pretty extensive cost as far as how many of the bandits you have to take take down and remember each one of my 30 stamina so 8 to 16 raving red bandits for the treasure for the first treasure then 20 to 40 raving red bandits for the first upgrade now you get the white coins from the bandit events you get a bunch of them you just try to like all the events you keep on doing what the event asks you and then the blue we're gonna, we'll go into the blue next video because we don't have time to go into that too and for the sake of the video i went out and bought the first manual for 4.99 i think they'll let you do that once you may be able to do that more than once uh and i'm not gonna try to influence you to buy or not but now let's find uh the alchemy dust because i knew i had some but it's not in this interface at all so i believe we have to go back out of here and go into our bag and once we are into our bag eventually we're going to go not into the first part but into the second which is the resource and right up, right up top there we have it 
So whenever you get it on the map or you get it through any other way, whether it be through the treasure um, store or on the map, it's going to be over there in the in the resources in your bag. So now we'll go back over to the, the treasure, ancient treasures. Uh, my first manual, I decided to get the potent pendant, which is actually the, the troop buff. It gives 4.3% on all three, the troop attack, troop defense, and troop hit point. Now, I'm not saying that this is what you should start with. That's just what I did. You start with whatever you use the most. I'd assume that's what you'd want to do. So, whether or not you go out and get all the yellow coins and get uh, the 10 pieces of a manual and put it together to make one manual, or you go out and buy one, you'll get your manual, you'll install the manual, and and once it's installed, you can use it for not one, but two of the ancient treasures. They'll, they'll be the same exact one. One on the left side, one on the right side. So for the pendant, I actually have two pendants. One on the left, one on the right. They cost 125 of the alchemy dust a piece. So after I bought the first one, I had to go back out and get some more alchemy dust so I could buy the second one. So that doubled up on the bonus. So it wasn't just 4.3. It was actually 8.6%. And they also have a number total for that too. I'm not quite sure how all that works in together. We'll find more about that later. So as far as for the troop buffs, pretty impressive. And and remember, this is just level one. As you level these up, they get incredibly strong. And it's going to be quite a bit to level them up. I think the next one is 325 of the Alchemy Dust, which is a lot more. And you can see here, all four are represented all the way up. And, and if you notice the colors, the colors are just like the war patterns. They start off with gray, then green, then blue, then gold, then purple up top. And there's actually an elite purple as well. I wonder if the war pattern is going to do that too. Hmm. So, that's about it as far as all that. Now, these, these events, I don't know if they're going to be once a week, once a, once a month, if the bandits will always be out there. But I, I have heard a lot of talk, and I want to kind of touch up on this because I don't want morale to start sinking, especially when I think people get the wrong idea sometimes. I kind of vetoed... Our guests from from taking over on this one so this is on perspective and in order for a game to work you have the developers and the players the developer and the players have to have some kind of love affair for each other remember the developers are at work they have to make money and then they have to make the players happy no matter who they are if they're money players or not and then of course the players they want to rule the world no matter what <laughs> so in order to make all that work the developers have to find a way to make the players make an investment. The investment has to be either with time or with money. And I hear a lot of people talk about this event is nothing but a money maker, money, money, money. But you'll be surprised if you look at it through a certain filter. It's actually really difficult just to buy everything outright. They've made it very difficult to do that. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to get people to invest their time. Because if you look at things outside of just this game... People buy things all the time and they don't have the same value as when they actually spend a lot of time to try to take care of it. We all know what happens what hap if you get something free, it just doesn't have any value to you. So if you spend the, the time and the effort to get it and spend the money to get it as well, that's what has real value for you. So in this case, they're really going after the time. They want people to spend time in the game that they love anyway. So try to get away from just the, the negative, they only want money because that's not the way this works. This is a much bigger picture than this. This is a this is a step in a direction, not not the ends to a means. So appreciate everyone for watching and listening to that. Till next time, it's been easy.